What's going on YouTube? LTH coming at you with a Friday video. Hope everybody's enjoying their Friday, by the way. A day before the weekend. So day one of last night's draft wrapped up. I know it's only day one, but let's talk about it. So the Texans had two first round picks. They originally had the three third pick and the 13th pick before they ended up trading down two spots, which led to the Eagles moving up to 13 and drafting Jordan Davis, which who I originally wanted. <clears throat> and I got to say, he was right there. But some were saying that the team was never interest, interested in him fully. I mean, I'm not sure that it's 100% true or not, but I ain't going to lie. Not drafting Jordan Davis pretty much hurt. But they did manage to address that old line by drafting Kenyon Green at number 15. And as interesting as that pick is, I'm not, I mean, I can't be too mad at it because Davis Mills need, do need to be protected. But at number three, they drafted Derek Stingley Jr. out of LSU, which was a, a dope pick. Yeah, Derek Stingley at number three. <clears throat> I like the pick. Though I wouldn't mind Sauce Gardner who went to the Jets, but hey, I'm happy with the pick of Derek Stingley Jr. I mean, he balled out in 2019 when LSU won it all, but he did have some recent regression. Not not too entirely, but I still think this dude is a baller because Houston has been lacking a lockdown corner for years. And Hopefully this guy finally is the answer to all the lockdown corners that we've lacked. So I'm happy with Derek Stingley being a member of the Houston Texans. And yeah, Houston still got work to do. Got a lot of needs to address. I know I know I could see them drafting a the running back later to, later tonight, but there's other priorities to be thought about, so I wouldn't be surprised if they end up drafting a running back in a later round or whatnot. So, <clears throat> and yeah, the Bravens beat the Texans to Cal Hamilton, to who I also wanted as well, because safety is still a priority as well, you know. And I got, and as far as giving credit where it's due, I got to give the Eagles credit, man, because. I know it's only day one, but day one, I feel like they kicked ass in this first day of the NFL draft in this first round, you know, trading for A.J. Brown and moving up to draft Jordan Davis to beef up that D-line even more. I mean, and that's the same Eagles team that the Houston Texans play this year at NRG Stadium. And I got to say, there's no excuse for Jalen Hurts in 2022. So I got to say, I say that that boy has the ball out. I mean, I'm no Eagles fan, but I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> so, on the day two, yeah, running back, wide receiver, are other needs, but I, I feel like they could draft those two positions in the later round, you know, since they got to address the D-line, you know, D-tackle. They need a D-tackle if they want to stop the run. And hopefully draft the safety safety needs to be addressed edge edge rushes need to be addressed as well you know and other keeper and some other key positions you know and well let me put this all together wide receiver running back safety edge rush well slash pass rush D-line and I mean, I mean could be some couple of honorable mentions but that's about all I can come up with but hey you know as far as Houston they you know they also got four other picks as well so I'm gonna just leave it at that and see what happens in day two I mean Hopefully, Houston can, hey, 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if they draft defense. So let's see what happens. But till my next video, LTH checking on the potter here. Let's get it.